Hi, I'm Scott Patton, the Dean of Blogonomics and Podology, www.powerpodcasters.com. And I'm really excited. We're going to be taking a look at something that's brand new for me. And I suspect from you too, as we all know, uh, live streaming is the big buzzword right now. We've got Facebook Live, we've got YouTube Live, Periscope has come up with Live, Blab, sadly, is no longer uh, live. <laughs> and uh, so we've got all these things popping up. Some are going to stay, some are going to go. Unfortunately, Blab left, but it's been replaced, if I may say, from something called Be Live. Be Live TV. I want to thank my good friend John Smiley for uh, tell, asking me to check this out to say, you know, to make the suggestion to say, hey, Scott, here's something I think you should take a look at. I really appreciate you, John. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at Be Live today, which helps you engage your fans on with Facebook Live. And the cool thing about it, I think, is the interactivity. So, I believe what they've done is they've taken a look at Facebook Live and figured out how they can. Uh, make the experience better. And so you can broadcast by yourself, which I'm doing right now, and you can do face-to-face -face interviews, which I'm going to try a little bit later. Uh, so watch for that. So, uh, okay, so here's the email I got. Thank you for joining Be Live, And we're going to click on the broadcast alone. Bring that up. So here we go. We're going to create our Q&A. They call it a Q&A broadcast. Of course, that's a great idea. Hey, we've got some questions. Uh, so this is, we're just going to call this the, uh, the B live first show. And of course they want your email address, which And we're going to broadcast through Facebook Live. And I'm going to put this on. Now, here's the cool thing is you can put it on your timeline. You can put it on a page that you manage, on a group you manage, or you can make an event. And of course, you have the testing, which is where I kind of started before I started recording this. And so I'm just going to put this. Well, timeline is kind of easy. Let's take a look at uh, groups that you manage. And here's some groups that I, oops, wrong one. I select one of my groups. And we're going to do the Power Podcasters one. And now I'm going to create the broadcast and see what happens. We have to connect our camera. Uh, it defaults to 520, which is good quality. If you're going to be uh, HD, then that's the 720. And it depends on your internet connection. So the better internet connection, the better quality that you want. Also, you're repurposing uh, issues, to, uh, purposes, repurposing purpose, <laughs> you know, so I want to put this up on one of my courses as a bonus lecture. So I want the highest quality possible. The 540 is okay quality. Uh, the 480 is not that great, but if you're going to be, um, watching this through, uh, your phone or you have slow internet connection, then you, that's a, that's a, possibility. Okay. And I'm going to be using my HD Pro C920. And I want to use my Yeti microphone. This is going to be interesting because these are the same things that I'm using to record this video. So we'll see what happens. Connector all up. There I am. Yes. And as you can see, we have the main screen here where, uh, where I am, but then we've also got the preview, which I love. And They've added some things. It happens to be, you know, like Christmas time. So uh, that's kind of fun. And where I am, it's snowing. In fact, it's getting worse. And we've basically got a blizzard. Not very happy about that. And we have to start broadcast. Before we do that, they have some, you can do on screen updates. So. Um, Boom, starting in five minutes. Oops, spelled that wrong. It doesn't matter. And anyway, you can see how as you're doing things, it's going to appear on the screen. And that's that's pretty exciting. And we can show here, 
it, it, it's a, a little bit higher on the uh, my screen, okay? But it's right down here at the bottom. So if you have people asking questions, you can show the question, then you can answer the question, which I think is really cool. You have total control. As you can see, I just got rid of that one. And then I show that second one right here and got rid of that. So Boom, great question, John. All right, so now we're going to be putting this onto my Power Podcasters group. We're gonna go live, hit start broadcast. Start live broadcast. And we are live. Welcome everybody, this is Scott Patton, the Dean of Blogonomics and Pedology, and I am coming to you live on the Power Podcasters group page using a brand new technology that my good friend John Smiley just shared with me a couple hours ago and it's Be Live TV. So this is kind of the inaugural attempt at using it to see how it works and uh, how good it is. And what I like about it is I think you can ask questions. Now I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to take a look at this on my page in a few minutes so that we can actually see if uh, if it happens. But if you're on, if you see it, would really appreciate you leaving a comment. And I'm actually gonna leave a comment now. It's at the bottom uh, of my screen, which is like over on that side. And uh, welcome to the show. And I put my little comment and then I'm going to Doesn't look like, did anything happen? Hard to say. So just going to whip over to my group, which I should have thought about doing earlier. Here's the group and there I am live. So I've left a comment and I am playing it with no sound. And this is absolutely amazing. I am live on my group using Be Live. Oops. So I've left a comment and I am playing it. Just pause that. Very, very cool. Okay, so we are back here. My comment. Doesn't look like my comment happened. So I'm not 100% sure how the live comments work. I can see that there's nobody watching, uh, which is kind of what I would expect. I think you need to tell people. Uh, but this looks like a really cool uh, Facebook Live add on. Okay, it's obviously using the technology of Facebook Live, it lets you do some kind of cool things if you want uh, without getting into the weird stuff of Snapchat where you've got whiskers coming out of your face or, or any of those things. So I'm kind of excited about this as a replacement for Blab and I'm looking forward to uh, doing a one-on-one -on -one interview and seeing how that works. Uh, the other thing I'm interested in seeing is can I download the video, how good is the quality of the video and the audio and can I then post this to uh, YouTube for example or uh, take the audio and turn the audio into a podcast. So the whole idea of uh, all of this content creation, video creation uh, ability that we have now, it's really like the golden age of creating video, uh, is to be able to repurpose it. So for me, it's I'm looking for a platform that I can easily start up that will broadcast on Facebook or on YouTube. So you already have Facebook Live and YouTube Live. But if this makes it easier and I can do interviews on it, having it go back and forth or however, you know, I have to see how that part works, then then to be able to actually download the video, which probably is going to be posted. Uh, it's posted on my group 
So now I can take it and I can uh, download it probably from there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I am interested to see what, what all BeLive does. But it looks to me like uh, it's just an easy way to go live. And uh, then you can syndicate all that information out. Then you can extract the audio, turn that into a podcast, get a transcript, and you've now got articles, blog posts, tweets, and, and uh, maybe the chapter of your book all done at once. So, uh, And if this is a great way to interact, whoa, there's Daniel Hall, and he asked a question. Awesome. Let me just show that. Hey, and uh, <laughs> Tim Cooper, all of a sudden, we've got uh, a bunch of activity uh, <laughs> going on, which is uh, cool. So uh, Daniel, I happen to be in outside of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada right now, where it is snowing and miserable. And I wish I was back uh, yesterday. I was in Mexico City. The day before, I was in Panama City. And the week before that, I was in uh, Medellin, Colombia. So I'm back home for the next little while. And, uh, and then I found this thing called Be Live, and I'm just sort of checking it out. Just I got to stop the snow. It's, uh, it's actually sunny here. It's cold and sunny. So I arrived at 11 o'clock uh, two nights ago at the airport and froze my little butt off because, of course, I did not take a jacket or a coat or anything more than one long sleeve shirt to, to with me on my trip. So uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm trying out this Be Live thing on uh, Power Podcasters. You can also stream live to yeah, only one place, but to your a page that you've got or to your timeline. So that's so I'm not sure if this is any. Hey, this is a lot easier than streaming. Well, Facebook Live streaming, I think, is easy. But this seems to be very, very simple. You've got a little, um, when you start up, you can pick your microphone, you can pick your, your uh, video camera, and you can pick the quality. 720 is the highest quality, 480 is the lowest quality. And, uh, and then you can go live. So great connecting with uh, you, Tim, and with you, Daniel. And the other thing you can do that I'm looking at uh, doing next is a I I interview style. I have no idea. Uh, oh, I'm looking forward to trying the Mevo camp. Let me just show that uh, comment. I forgot it doesn't. I see it and you don't see it. So I got to bring it up. Uh, you, the Mevo camera is, uh, is something I'm really looking forward to playing with as well. I think that's, uh, that's a really... A, I mean, so for those of you that don't know, the Mevo camera is a single camera. And if two people are, let me just get my hands in the right place, talk at a table talking to each other, the camera will flip between the person that's talking and then to the other person that's talking to both people. And it just kind of does it automatically. So you've, it's like you're having your very own video editor. And I think that is uh, really cool. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm trying this out. I just had a friend, John Smiley, tell me about it a couple hours ago, and uh, I'm recording it, and I'm actually going to have the walkthrough of how this all works as part of it. So I'm actually doing the live video, recording it on my computer so you can see everything that I'm doing all at the same time, and it's working really well. And I know when I try doing something similar to this with Google Hangouts or Skype, it takes a lot of an CPU and energy from my computer and slows down and the, the lips move and then the talking comes later sort of thing. This seems to be working out uh, pretty good. So that's it. This is how it kind of works. And uh, like I said, you can do it on your timeline, do it on a page, do it on a group, all that you either manage or own, that sort of thing. And it seems really, really simple to use. So. Next up is uh, trying to do an interview with somebody. So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Well, and I got another comment from Tim. Just quickly show it. It looks great. Yeah, I, I think it looks really well. So <laughs> and hang on a second. Daniel says, catch you later. Welcome home. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel, really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you all later, everybody. Bye-bye.
And there you go. We are done. That's how that works. Cool. So I'm going to do another video when I find somebody that I can interview and I'll interview them and see how that works.